My name is Ian McPhee. I'm in the Brisbane area in Queensland, Australia. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Innov K5 dash cam system. As you can see, it's attached to my motorbike. My motorbike is a 2012 Yamaha Super Tenere, which has been extensively modified to complete long distance motorcycle rides and uh, the camera system has been mounted as part of a longer series of rides that we have planned. There are several components to the K5. There is the front camera system. This is a, a GPS dongle. This is the Wi-Fi connection. The last piece of the system is the rear camera and the piece that is interesting is the wired microphone. The camera system comes with some of the latest technology. The front camera is a 4K camera. The rear camera is a 1080p which was the latest and greatest thing until the 4K camera came out. So essentially this system is built up of two market leading, industry leading cameras and the video quality out of those two cameras is pretty good I have to say. I'm not a tech guy, I don't ever do anything online except look at emails and surf a little bit. I found that installing the system was simple and straightforward. As you can see I've fabricated my own camera mount. I haven't used any of the mounts provided by Inov and that's not anything against Inov. But I intend to use this camera mount, this camera system, for something other than just dash cam footage, incident footage, tip overs, that sort of thing. It's, I've actually turned all of that off in my camera system and uh, I'm using it more as an action cam. The camera itself, the camera system itself, comes with a control module. You can see where I've located mine here on my control panel. And as part of the camera system, I have installed a standalone power switch and a standalone microphone on off switch. The camera itself, the front camera, contains the brains, the processor, the micro SD card, which is a 512 gigabyte card. Uh, if you set your camera settings accordingly via the app, which is accessible through the Wi-Fi on your phone, then you can actually run it for 24 hours non-stop. I know that because I've done it. Because I'm using my camera system completely differently to what most people, as I've said, part of this mount system on the front allows me to mount the rear camera on the front of the bike. I'm able to change the view. Now, quite often when you're riding down the road there's really interesting stuff off to the side. So it gives me the chance to lean forward, rotate the camera sideways, let me capture whatever it is I find interesting at the time. I can either then turn it around and use it as a front cam secondary, turn it around so it captures me singing badly in my helmet, whatever I want to do. It just adds flexibility. I mean I have even on quiet roads picked it up and used it just waving it around. The camera itself gives you indications when the system is ready to go. On this module, <coughs> the left LED is your green indicator that tells you that the power is on. So the three lights come on to tell you that there is the setup process. The green light flashes initially to tell you that the, car, the camera itself is powering up. The GPS flashes up to tell you that it's on and then the Wi-Fi comes on to tell you that it's looking for a signal. Now this signal is looking for the app in your phone. If you don't have it set up it won't go solid. So the camera itself is actually recording now, the green lights go on solid. The GPS has found its satellite and is, is set up tracking on that and the blue Wi-Fi light 
may or may not go solid because I don't actually have the Inov app open in my phone right now. Over here, like I said, I've connected the red and yellow power supply wires directly together and run them under an on-off switch under a missile cover. If the switch is up, the cover's up, it's powered on. If it's down, obviously it's off, the thing is dead. But I've done the same with the microphone. I spliced into the microphone circuit, fitted an on-off switch because a lot of the time things we don't, there's things we don't want recorded. Tons and tons of road noise, tons and tons of engine noise. We don't want all of our phone conversations recorded. Um, and, you know, I've found that the microphone is extremely sensitive, especially when I locate it up inside my helmet, right under my chin. It actually can hear what's coming out of my earbuds. I've got footage of it recording conversations and video. I don't want that. I'll put an interrupt circuit in. It makes it very easy to use. It makes it far more versatile, flexible, and for what I'm doing, makes it much better in the sense that I can control the system more finitely. The Inov K5 camera system has, for me who is not a tech orientated guy, it's been easy to use. Uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, to understand how to transfer files and, and it took me a little bit of finding a video editor that would work. And it took some repetition before it became um, easy for me to repeat and so you know I'm, I'm now at the point where I'm going to go and start doing a few rides uh, turning those into videos I'll post them up as well the last thing I want to talk about is the microphone a lot of people don't like wide microphones everybody has gotten so used to Bluetooth headsets Bluetooth voice command all that sort of stuff that the wire is seen as a negative. I would counter that with the fact that the audio out of this system is bar none, the best I've ever heard. I clip it up inside my helmet, it stays inside the chin piece, it sits about there, I don't notice it's in my helmet. My helmet is a Nolan flip front modular helmet and I find that if I take the couple of seconds when I stop at a service station or when I get home before I dismount, unclip it, sit it on the tank bag, it's no problem. So that's my install video. Inov's website has a lot of information on, the, on there about the K5 and for those of you who are very tech orientated you'll get a great deal of um, insight into reading their site and uh, looking at the tech specs. For those of you who are like me, just mug punters that ride and have a camera here and there, you'll enjoy using it as well. Because I have to say, I have not found it painful at all. So, from Queensland, Australia to the rest of the world, you have a good day.